Okay, now that our IP address and time zone have changed, it's time to change the server over to a domain controller. And so we're going to go to start and uh, search for programs files. We're going to type in DC as in domain controller, promo as in promotion. And what this is going to go through and do is ask us some questions about what we want the domain controller to be called. And we're going to answer those questions and it will uh, add Active Directory, reboot, and then we'll have our first domain controller in our new network. Okay, so now we're at the Active Directory Domain Services in this in installation wizard and we're going to click on Next. And we can read through this if we like, but we're not adding this to a new uh, or existing forest. We're actually going to create this in a new uh, forest, which is basically saying we don't have an existing network we're adding this to. This is going to be a brand new network. And for our purposes, we're going to choose create a new domain in a new forest and click on next. Now, here's where there's a little bit to think about when you're planning your network. Now, if you have a domain name, and let's just use something simple. Uh, that everybody will be easy to discern. Uh, if you were Microsoft and you had Microsoft.com, you could put something like corp.microsoft.com um, or, or uh, detroit.microsoft.com. It can be any sort of variation like that. Or you could simply do something like Microsoft.local. And when you do a .local, it will save you a lot of trouble in configuring DNS down the road. And so for our purposes and for smaller networks, I would recommend using a .local rather than the branch name or, or the company name or something of that nature, dot, and then the domain name, which is on the internet. Just makes it easier to configure down the road and DNS will work properly out of the gate rather than having to put in entries for anything that's on the internet, like a www entry so that when DNS is requested and you type in your website, it knows to take it outside of the network for the .com. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use domain. We don't have an uh, internet address, and so we're going to use domain.local. And we're going to click Next. Now you have to use, and it'll give you an error if you don't do this, you have to use um, two qualifiers here. So you can't have just domain like you could in previous versions. You have to have something dot something. And dot local is uh, definitely a valid uh, qualifier to have. So we'll click on next. And it's checking to see if there's anything in the network already. We don't have anything in the network by that same name. And now it's asking us for our functional level. Now we don't have any other servers in our network and uh, we're not planning on adding any and so we can raise this up to the highest functional level this happens to be server 2008 release 2 we can choose that now if we we're going to add another server or integrate another server at any point we could choose you know one of these lower ones or leave it on server 2003 um, I don't think there's very many server 2000s out there any longer but uh, for our purposes we can have the, incru the improved uh, security in leaving it or changing it to server 2008 release 2. And so we'll click on next again. And this is going to go ahead and add our DNS server. Now what this is doing is making DNS a part of Active Directory and what that does is that we, as we add new servers and new machines DNS will be upgraded uh, to reflect what's in our Active Directory. An Active Directory is the database that holds all of our security for our domain controller. Now this error comes up because our server actually has a DNS entry, or not a DNS entry, but a uh, uh, an entry inside of the network card where it looks at itself for DNS. And so it's safe to ignore, it means nothing. And so yes, we want to continue. And we're just going to take these uh, default locations for our Active Directory files. Our password 
um, this has to be a secure password and obviously we recommend you use a secure password so use something with uppercase lowercase uh, letters numbers and special characters if at all possible click next once you have your password in there just going to confirm that the domain is domain and that's the NetBIOS name and that uh, we chose to make it the higher security uh, Active Directory settings so the functional level is actually Server 2008 Release 2 and we're going to click on Next. It's going to go ahead and install DNS. And I'm going to pause the video here while it does this so that uh, you don't have to sit through all this. This can take some time. Okay, that step is now finished and uh, it's completed the Active Directory Domain Services installation. And we'll click on Finish and it's going to prompt us to restart the computer. And so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll pick it up again in another video.